When Hazelwood Power Station was first commissioned back in 1959, the workers would have arrived here in FJ Holdings. Robert Menzies was Prime Minister of Australia, we just started building the Sydney Opera House and Kevin Rudd was just two years old. But a lot's changed since then. For one thing, we don't drive FJ Holdings anymore. We've put a man on the moon. Computers have gone from the size of a room to fitting in the palm of your hand. And we've developed cleaner, better ways of producing electricity, like using the sun and the wind. Yet here in Victoria, we still rely on this old dinosaur. In fact, Hazelwood Power Station is so old and inefficient that in 2005, it was rated as the dirtiest power station in the industrialised world. It spews out over 16 million tonnes of greenhouse pollution each year. That's almost 15% of Victoria's total greenhouse emissions. And it's a lot of black balloons. It uses 27 billion litres of water each year. That's almost a month's worth of Melbourne's total water supply. And all this when climate change is threatening to change the face of the planet forever. It makes no sense. It's time to turn things around. It's time to replace Hazelwood. Across the state, Victorians are taking action to reduce their impact on climate change. They're changing light globes, buying green power, joining climate action groups, and saving every last drop of water that we can. We're doing our bit, yet the government is still refusing to do theirs. We could replace Hazelwood with clean energy solutions that are on the table and ready to go right now. At the same time, we could implement energy saving programs to help us slash our energy bills. We could create jobs for more people than Hazelwood Power Station currently employs. And all this while making big cuts to our greenhouse pollution. It's a plan that makes a lot of sense. And we don't have to wait for a price on carbon to do it. We can get moving now. 2010 is a double election year. And that means your state and federal politicians are going to be trying to impress you. Make them work for it. This election year, tell your politicians to replace Hazelwood with clean energy by 2012.